My name is Kate Micucci, and uh, I guess I'm known for playing the ukulele. I do acting and uh, music, and I'm in a duo called Garfunkel and Oats. Garfunkel and Oats started when Ricky and I um, were writing music for her musical that she was making. We wrote two and a half songs in about two hours, and we were like, this is so easy and so much fun, and uh, we've never written a song that fast ever again, but that beginning magic is kind of what Real, made us realize we should keep going with it. There are a lot of songs that we've written that I thought there's no way we can sing this, you know, in front of an audience or anywhere. Um, and then we do. And, you know, I didn't really swear in life. I didn't say anything that was, uh, you know, considered a swear word. And then I started singing them, and now I say them all the time. So. I guess that's okay. It's crazy, I was really shy growing up. I, I didn't want to leave my parents' house. I didn't want to drive. I never went on a date. My dad would pay me money to go to the school dance. Then all of a sudden, something switched in me. I don't know what happened exactly. I started getting into puppets. I was making puppets and doing puppet shows around town, and then I realized I liked, you know, performing, you know, hiding behind these things, and then I thought maybe I could perform without my puppets. It was just a, a step, really. Well, there's so much that I want to do, but I feel really lucky uh, right now because I'm getting to do all the things I love, writing music, performing music, acting, and um, and I paint, so I, I, I wish I had more time to paint, but uh, I do occasionally. Well, I was really, really into the first Nintendo when it first came out in 1987. My brother and I, I think it was 87, I'm sure someone will be like, no, it's actually 84 or whatever, but I was I was in first grade when, when uh, Mario Brothers, I say Mario, people say Mario, Mario Mario Brothers, uh, we played that a lot, and we'd wait for my dad to come home, and then we would see if he could beat, my, my brother and I would wait and then see if my dad could beat us, which he usually did. <laughs> we had all these different games. Top Gun was a really big one. Uh, Skater Die 2 was really big. Slalom, which was a really basic ski game. And uh, when my brother and I would actually go skiing, we'd be at the top of the hill and do the slalom dance that happens when you win. But yeah, I was really into Nintendo, and, and then we never advanced our gaming system, so we still have that basic Nintendo. Nintendo at my parents' house. And now, the only game I really play is Solitaire, and I play it every day, like 10 times a day. I did play a few tabletop games growing up. Um, mainly, Clue was big. We'd play that in our camper. We play cards now, like card games at Christmas. And I think I was really more into puzzles, actually. I don't know if that counts as gaming, probably not. <laughs> How would I spend my last night on Earth? Well, I don't know. I think, okay, I actually, yeah. I would have a big, big, big show and invite everybody to see the show. Is that selfish? <laughs> That's really selfish. Well, I'd be with my family. <laughs> I would make my family come to the show. Gaming is a great way to spend your Christmas holiday.